now we are pretty much up against the, the, the bits of your life that are already in the public eye. But I must ask, given the context of what we've just discussed, how hurtful, if that's the right word, it was when Johnson lied about your role in the Jimmy Savile prosecutions. And how annoying it must be to have to answer the questions about it because it inflates the it, lie in a way. It was a new low yes. for a man for whom I've got almost no regard. <laughs> and, uh, and I, uh, you know, um, I think um, I think this is a home fixture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but I'm I'm not I, I just. Yeah. Put that in context. Now, I'm not one of these people who say, you know, all Labour brilliant, all Tories bad by definition, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Obviously, there are ideological differences, political differences, value differences that we all have, and that's why I'm in the Labour Party, that's why I'm leading the Labour Party. I'm very proud and privileged to do so. But I would concede that Theresa May, for all the other faults she may have had, was a woman who knew that you didn't stand at the dispatch box and lie. Mm. Um, and... and <laughs> And when he did that relationship to Jimmy Savile, he knew what he was doing. There has been this right-wing mm. Nazi, um, you know, fascist um, conspiracy going round. He knew exactly what he was doing. And I knew once he'd done it, it was, there was no way he was ever going to apologise. It was an irrelevant question because to apologise, you have to have the self-reflection of knowing what integrity is. And he hasn't got it. Mm. And it you know... It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Which... Um, and that's... Uh, just... Um, yeah. A lot of... I can... There aren't many advantages of being the dispatch box. Um, if you haven't been to Parliament, get along there and have a look at it and let me know when you're coming. But it's a very small place. You step forward... And I, this sounds balmy because you think it's obvious, but it isn't until you do it. You step forward and every friendly face is now behind you and all you've got is a wall of <laughs> op the opposition... But it makes you quite a good reader of the mood on the other side of the house. It's quite interesting, because I have to sit there the whole yeah, time, yeah, yeah. you know, very close to the Prime Minister. And I, can, I could see within his own party how uncomfortable they were with where he was taking politics. Because he was taking their party down, he was taking the country down, and taking democracy down by going down this dark route um, to conspiracy theorists. And, you know, this is the party of Winston Churchill. Um, that now has a Prime Minister that's prepared to do that and carry on doing that. And so I thought it was a really low movement. And, and could but it's it, nice to have a friendly crowd. Isn't it? It was I slightly friendly. Friendly. Yeah, it was friendly. I think it was, it was, it was two Mondays ago, it wasn't quite so friendly. No. <laughs>